Oops. And we're going to record the session as you probably just saw so that we can have this um, a repository of these different sessions um, so people could view them if they can't be here live. So feel free to take a couple of minutes to answer these questions. And then I'll share the results, which will be aggregate, like not saying anyone's names with the whole group. Um, so we can just kind of see how people are doing today. And this is helpful to me as I'm not there in person with you. So I can kind of get a sense of how you're feeling, how your body's feeling. So as everyone's coming in, um, if you'll just take a couple of moments to do this short poll that should be popping up for you now. And my name is Caitlin Brown and I am a part-time faculty member in kinesiology, health and sports studies, as well as the School of Social Work. And I teach classes on yoga, mindfulness, and how to apply things like yoga and mindfulness and other mind, body, spirit practices in social work. And I also have my own business called Mindful Detroit, and I do different workshops, classes. I do one-on-one -on -one yoga therapy. Um, so I can always put my contact info in the chat at the end if anyone has any um, questions for me. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, if anyone else is taking the poll, if you want to wrap that up right now. All right, so I'm going to end the poll. So in terms of energy levels, it looks like people are, most people are balanced, feeling kind of calm, but there is some low energy. So we'll do some things. This is helpful for me to know, okay, to get that energy moving and up. Um, kind of thoughts feeling a little foggy for a few people, and then again, balanced and one person a little more busy and then mood a little low as well um, and then some people balanced and a couple people feeling a little more amped up and it looks like a lot of people and this was you could check all that apply are having some tightness or tension in their shoulders and their upper back so we'll definitely do some things to counter that because if you're um, in front of your computer a lot or on your phone a lot driving, we tend to round forward. So we'll work on some things to open up. Okay, and a couple other areas as well. All right, so just if you wanted to see kind of how the poll went, you can look through that for a second. And let's get comfortable sitting tall either sitting in a chair or you could sit on your floor on the floor on a yoga mat or you know on your couch it doesn't matter however you want um and feel free if you want you can turn your camera on it's always nice to see your face but if you don't want to you don't have to at the very end um I'll have some time for like question and answer to talk to you you can always type in questions in the chat and um It'd be nice to see your faces then as well. Okay, um, Josh, did you want to say anything before we get started? No, just thank you everybody for uh, for attending. Um, I, I hope you all enjoy this. And we'll have some more to come in the future. So thank you. Yeah, and at the end we'll announce. We could announce the next date. 
Okay. So sitting tall, I'm going to come back to my chair and just adjust my camera a little bit. So thinking about maybe uncrossing your legs if you have a tendency to do that, sitting up nice and tall. And for all of these different things, you can have the option of closing your eyes, but you don't have to. And I invite you, if you don't want to close your eyes, maybe look away from the computer screen because we're looking at it so much throughout our day. So maybe glancing down slightly. You could let your hands rest however is comfortable in your lap. If you were feeling, based on that energy question, if you were feeling kind of low energy, maybe I invite you to bring your palms up to invite more energy in. And then if you're feeling kind of high energy or a little anxious, bring your palms down to help ground you. And if you're feeling kind of balanced in the middle, you know, you could do one up and one down, kind of up to you. So taking a few moments to just notice, we're gonna work with a technique to start a breathing exercise and meditation called the three minute breathing space. So begin by just noticing how your body is feeling. Noticing points of contact with your seat. Notice your feet in your shoes or on the floor. Notice if there's any parts of the body that are feeling tense or tight. And also bringing awareness to areas that feel soft, relaxed. And areas that might feel neutral or there's hard to feel sensation there. Notice your mind, the thoughts moving in and out. Just trying to observe the thoughts rather than analyze or get attached to them. See if you can kind of let them come and go like clouds in the sky. Notice emotions. And whatever emotions are coming up for you right now, knowing those are valid. And then notice your breath. Begin to bring your attention to your inhale and your exhale. Following it in and out. Observe where you might notice your breath most strongly. Is it air moving in and out of the nostrils? Perhaps movement or sensation in the throat, in the chest, in the belly. There's no right or wrong answer. It's also valid if it's hard to feel the breath, if it's hard to notice anything. So now I'm just taking a few more breaths, following your complete inhale and your complete exhale, just with your natural breath. And knowing there could be noises in the background, I apologize for my dog, but that's part of our practice as well, right? All of the noises and uh, things in our environment. And then from here, begin to think about expanding your breath so that there is that one place where you noticed it. Maybe using your imagination, visualize your breath moving throughout your body. So on your inhale, your breath is filling your lungs, but maybe it's also moving down your arms to your fingertips, right? Maybe on your exhale, not only is air coming out of your lungs, but it's moving down through the legs and the feet. So using our imagination here to visualize this expansion of our breath throughout our body. 
feeling it energize us, awaken us. And on our exhales, imagine it releasing anything we don't need, releasing tension from our bodies, releasing any stress or ruminating thoughts from the mind. Continuing, to still notice the inhales and the exhales. And feel the air, not only as it moves in and out of your body, but notice the air around your body as well. So expanding beyond the body. Feeling the air on your skin, sensing the air in the room around you. Taking about two more breaths. And then slowly when you're ready, if your eyes were closed, blinking them open, maybe lifting your gaze if it was down. And since we are sitting still for a few minutes, maybe it feels good to just kind of wiggle around, shake the shoulders and the arms out, whatever might feel good for you. So that technique is called the three minute breathing space. It's a mindfulness exercise. It comes from mindfulness based cognitive therapy. And the idea is the first part of it. The first minute is kind of bringing awareness to what's going on in your body and your mind. The second minute is focusing on the breath, and the third minute is expanding the breath, like throughout the body, kind of bringing more expansiveness. So that's a simple technique that you could do at any time throughout your day when you need a little break, a little self-care. And we'll um, explore some various other techniques in our practice today, as well as in future sessions. So let's take a moment now to bring one hand to your chest and one to your belly, working with that breath that we've been cultivating, breathing in and out through your nose if you can. And we're gonna to begin to have a longer and smoother and deeper breath. So this is our foundational yogic breath. Seeing if you can notice some slight movement under your hands as you're breathing. Doesn't have to be a big movement, but as you're inhaling, see if you can notice slight lift of your hands as the lungs fill with air. And as you exhale and the lungs empty, the hands slightly lower or come in. So we always wanna check in with this breath. We wanna come back to it. And if we're doing anything the movements in the body where we're holding our breath or breath gets shallow. Try to maybe use that as a sign to take a break or change the movements in a way so we can come back to this deep, even breath. And I invite you, if you want, to close your eyes for a moment again or gaze down and just set an intention. Call this a sankalpa in Sanskrit and yoga. It's just a way to focus on our resolve, our intention, putting it in the present tense, helping it to manifest. And then when you're ready, let's release our hands down, blink open the eyes, and begin to do some movements with the body. And we're going to start by linking breath with our movements. So we're going to bring our hands to our knees, we're going to move through some seated cat and cow. So we're going to inhale and bring our chest forward, lift our gaze, open our throat. Exhale, drop our chin and round, draw our navel in. Imagine there's a big beach ball in front of you. So just move a few times on your own with your breath. So your breath is guiding you. You're inhaling, coming forward, exhaling, rounding back. And I'll show you from the side as well. 
And just notice where you might feel a lot of movement in your spine and maybe if there's parts that feel kind of stuck or stiff. See if maybe you direct, try to direct more movement there or more breath there. Do a couple more. And then we're gonna bring our arms into it. So sit up tall for a moment. Make sure you have some space to either side of you where you won't hit anything. And we're gonna bring our chest forward again, lift our gaze, and this time sweep our arms back where our palms are facing back. And then exhale, sweep your arms forward again like you're holding that big beach ball. Drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, come forward, heart forward, arms back. Exhale, hugging, drawing in. So continue this movement with your breath. And you could think about these movements as where do you need to turn inward and maybe take a break, nourish yourself? And where do you need to go outward with the inhale? Where, where are you putting your energy, your action? So finding the balance between these two things. Do one more. And then after your exhale, we'll sit up nice and tall again. We'll work a little bit more seated and then we'll come to standing. So a lot of people said, you know, the chest, the shoulder area was tight. Also, I think someone mentioned the jaw. So um, a lot of times the jaw, the neck, the shoulders can hold a lot of our tension. So let's just do some gentle, um, self-massage with our face. This is again a very simple uh, self-care technique. You could do it anytime. We're going to use the pads of our first two fingers and we're going to bring them to our temples and just put gentle pressure and begin to do circles in one direction and then the other. And you can adjust how much pressure you need and then move down to your jaw Circles in one direction, and then the other. And now we're gonna bring the pads of our thumbs in between our eyebrows. So this is the area of our third eye, the sixth chakra. Helps with our intuition, our memory, our vision. And just gently press in here. And then pressing inside your fingers up to your hairline, and then slide them apart along your hairline, back down to your temples. Now with the pads of the thumbs, do gentle circles. And then switch. And then down to your jaw, circles here. And then switch the direction. And then releasing the arms down, just taking a moment to just check in with how your face is feeling, see if you can gently soften. So let's work a little bit more with the shoulders and the neck. So let's bring our arms up like cactus arms or goal posts, bending the elbows. And we're going to inhale here and really think about opening across your chest, bringing your shoulder blades together on your back. And then exhale, bring your arms towards one another and maybe your palms touch and maybe your elbows touch. But if they, can't, if they don't touch, that's okay. They can just be as close as they can in front of you. Inhale, open up. So continuing, again, dynamic movement with our breath. Exhale, come together as much as is comfortable. Inhaling, opening, and really trying to open across the collarbones. Exhale, feeling your shoulder blades come apart when you bring your arms together. Do one more. And then after your exhale, we're gonna open our arms back up. And now we're gonna change the movement up. We're still gonna inhale here, but we're gonna exhale, bring our palms facing back. So our elbows are still bent. We're just kind of hinging with the, at the elbows. So inhaling up, exhaling, 
back. And moving your arms down as much as you can, but imagine your upper arms and your elbows stay at the same place. And then pausing next time you come up. We're gonna mix this up a little bit more here. We're gonna inhale at center. We're gonna exhale and bring just our right arm down. Fingertips down, palm back, and turn our head to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, we're gonna bring our left palm down, gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, back over to the right. Do a couple more on your own, and if your shoulders are feeling it, take a break, you know? But if you can, maybe do one or two more on each side but it's always fine to take a break when you need it. And so your head is moving the same direction as the arm that's going down. So when you're ready, we'll meet back at center. Take your time if you wanna do one more round. And then let's do a few shoulder rolls, inhaling up and exhaling back. So we're doing a couple things um, today where, like when we are moving one arm up and down, and just letting your shoulders rest now, where we're kind of working with our patterns of how we move, and some movements might feel kind of hard to coordinate or do, um, and I'm doing that on purpose, just to kind of mix up the patterns of how we might normally move. And we call our habits or our patterns in yoga samskaras. And so I want us to think about today kind of what are our habits or patterns in our body um, and how we take care of ourselves in our self-care. And how could we, if there's maybe maladaptive patterns or unhealthy patterns that aren't working for us, how might we begin to compassionately change those with gentleness, with kindness, not getting angry at ourselves for you know, habits that might not be working. So we'll talk more about that at the end as well. So let's come to standing now. And just take a moment to stand in front of your chair, shake it out. And I like to do a lot of kind of just like shaking and wiggling to loosen up, especially if you've been sitting all morning. And then we're gonna find what we call mountain pose in yoga, where we're just standing evenly through both feet. Weight is in the balls and the heels even, it's in the right and the left foot even, outside edge and inside edge of our feet. And I invite you to bring your palms facing forward. You might roll your shoulders up and back for a moment to get there. And just take a few deep breaths here. So here we're holding a pose, but we don't want to hold our breaths. We still want to maintain that deep, even breathing. And notice our strong legs holding us up, noticing our core engaging here, the top of our head reaching up. So a simple pose, but a lot going on, and a great one to do when you're feeling overwhelmed or really anxious. You could think about breathing down through your feet to help root you and ground you. Think about being strong and stable like a mountain. So now let's come into a side stretch. So we're going to inhale our arms up. We're going to exhale our right arm down and reach over with our left. And then inhale up. We'll do some dynamic flowing movements again. Exhale to the other side and just move side to side with your breath, letting your breath guide you, connecting in to how you're feeling, and maybe you'll explore where your gaze goes as you're moving. So thinking about your neck and your shoulders, what would help them feel optimal? Do you wanna gaze up at your top hand? Do you wanna gaze down at the floor? And if you notice you're really bringing your shoulders up, try bringing your arms wider, thinking about shoulders coming down. We'll do one more on each side. And then coming back to center. And then just bringing your hands down through heart center and repeat your intention again. So we wanna come back to that some sankalpa intention. And then release your hands down. 
And we're going to work a little bit with these um, moving in, in different ways. And this is really helpful for our brain um, to have the right and left hemispheres of the brain working together to move opposite arm and leg. So um, you might have your chair handy or a wall handy for balance. We're going to be um, exploring balancing on one leg. Let me move this down maybe just a tiny bit so you can see my legs a little more. Okay, I'm just going to turn sideways. We're going to begin to shift the weight over to our left leg and then begin to lift our right knee in front of us and lift our left arm. So opposite arm and leg. Our right hand could stay on our hip, it could come to our chair. And then with your exhale, come down. And then you're going to inhale and lift your left knee and right arm and then come down and you don't have to lift up a lot you can if you want but you could always just have your toes staying on the ground and now try moving with your breath so inhaling up exhale down inhale up the other side opposite arm and leg exhale down And then you might explore going faster. So inhale on one side, exhale the other. Sometimes that's actually easier for balance. So just doing this a couple times, see what you notice, have patience with yourself if you're feeling a little wobbly, use support. And do one more on each side. And then come back to just melt in, shake it out for a moment, settle back in. And so now we're going to add to that by, again, shifting our weight to our left leg. We're going to inhale our right knee up and left arm, and then exhale, cross over. Touch our right knee with our left hand. Inhale back up, exhale down. So inhale, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, touch the knee with the opposite hand. Inhale up, exhale down. And do this a couple times on your own. And it, you could always, like if your chair has rungs, like mine does, you could rest your toes on your chair if you're feeling a little wobbly, if, that, if you have an ankle injury or anything like that and you need more support. So after the next time that you finish up on the left, we'll just come down, shake it out again. And let's explore now moving our leg back. So we're going to do a little more standing balance where we're going to lift our right foot but back behind us this time. Left arm. And let's just try that at first. Exhale down. So inhale now. Left foot lifts behind you. Right arm lifts. Exhale down. Do that a couple times and maybe again you could go faster. Inhale one side. Exhale the other side. And now come back to center and pause. We're gonna add a little bit on again, that crossing over and find wall for support if you need to. We're going to, I'll show you from the behind. We're gonna lift up and then exhale, reach in the direction of your foot. So you don't have to reach for it as you kind of push your foot back and then come back up and down. So inhale up, exhale, reach, inhale up, Exhale down. And just doing that a couple more times on your own. And if you mix up the pattern, that's okay. Trying your best. Reach back. And you don't have to touch the foot, just reaching in that direction. Inhale back up. Exhale down. Do one more on each side. And when you feel ready, shaking it out again. So now I want to try an energizing breathing technique. So I want to have you make sure there's nothing in front of you, because there's gonna be an option to fold forward if you want. So you might wanna move your chair out of the way or your, move further away from your desk. And that there's nothing around you that you're gonna hit either. Our stance is gonna come a little bit wider, a little wider than hip distance. And this breath is called breath of joy. It's a really great energizing breath. So nice if you're feeling kind of like midday, low energy, and you want to 
energized for the afternoon. So I'll show you first, you could just watch me. Uh, it's a three part inhale with arm movements. Inhaling arms forward, out to the side, and then up. And then the exhale is one long exhale through the mouth as you bend forward and sweep your arms back. So I'm bending my knees a little bit here. Helps my back, so making sure your back feels okay. And then I would just come up and do it again. And the inhales are a little faster and more forceful than what we've been doing. I call them sniffing breaths. So it's like a, that's what it sounds like all together. Now, if you're feeling like you're taking care of your low back, it's feeling pretty achy, you don't know if that would feel good to fold forward, or you tend to get dizzy, do it without folding forward. So that would look like this. So I'm just sweeping my arms down by my side, but I'm not folding forward. And if you do choose to fold forward, think about hinging from your hips, okay? And at any time that this doesn't feel good, feel free to just come back to mountain pose, come back to your center, think about breathing down into your feet. So let's start with just a breath in and out of our nose to repair, deep and even. And then let's start, so. <sighs> Imagine through your exhales, all the stress and tension is releasing. <sighs> and your arms can really be loose, so it doesn't have to perfectly match the pattern I described. But your arms move in any way that feels good. We'll do a couple more. One last one. And now just making your way back to mountain. So bringing your feet in a little bit. Find something not moving in front of you, maybe staring slightly above or below your screen. Feeling your feet rooted into the earth. Notice your energy in your body. So it's normal after this breath to feel a little more tingly, a little more awake. And it can um, sometimes, we can feel a little dizzy. We want to make sure that we're not feeling extremely dizzy or a lot of vertigo. vertigo. And in that case, if that did happen, I would suggest not doing the forward fold or doing it slower. Um, you can also do it seated in a chair if that's better for you. And sometimes it's, it is a very energizing breath, so sometimes it might be too energizing for us. And again, that's called breath of joy. So let's just do two more things standing and then we'll come back to seated. So let's use our chairs now as a prop. So we're going to turn our chair so that the back of it is facing us. And you're going to hold on to the back of your chair and begin to walk away from it. So that you can stretch your back nice and long. So we're doing like a chair down dog or maybe even more of a half forward fold. It depends on the height of your chair. My chair is kind of low. If your chair is higher, it will, might be more like a half down dog. You might let your head release between your arms and gaze back at your legs. Your knees can be bent a little bit here, or you could work on straightening them, which you might feel more sensation in the backs of the legs. Breathe along your spine here. Imagine pulling your hips back. And then slowly lifting your head and walking back towards your chair. So you can always do this on the wall as well. So we'll just show this option where I'm bringing my hands about shoulder height and then walking away, pulling my hips back. My feet are a little wider than hip distance. So this is another way you could do it with the wall. So a great one to stretch your back and the backs of your legs. And then we're still gonna keep the chair where it is but turn away from it now, hold on to the back, 
walk a little bit away, and we're going to lift our chest up here. This gentle standing back bend, thinking about engaging your legs, engaging your low belly, lifting your heart, and maybe begin to lift your chin, but keeping the neck back of your neck long, your shoulders down. One more breath here. And then slowly return your gaze to center, release your hands. Maybe it feels good to do another shoulder roll or two, and then we'll find our seat again. And just because we were doing some standing balance on one leg, maybe it feels good to lift one leg and at a time and just do pointing and flexing a few times. So inhale, point, exhale, flex. And then do some circles with your ankle in one direction and then the other. And then also noticing your core engage here to help you straighten your leg out in front of you. And then when you're ready, bend at your knee, place your foot down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So lifting your leg, and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. The knee could stay bent. And then from here, pointing and flexing, inhaling, point, exhale, flex. And then doing some circles, gently in one direction, and then the other. And then coming back to center. And just noticing, you know, in your body, again, these patterns or habits of moving. Is it harder? Is one ankle stiffer than the other? Is it maybe more difficult going in one direction than the other? Um, and that's normal because there's different ways we tend to move our body, um, especially depending on what arm, what hand is dominant. And then that side of the body could be tighter or stronger. Lots of different things, different activities we do. So just beginning to try to bring more awareness to that and thinking about how you might balance that out, right? If there's simple activities um, that you could do with the other side of your body, just to create more balance. So let's um, work with the hips. We'll do just a couple, we'll target a couple more areas that people mentioned. So hips, uh, a nice seated hip opener you can do is seated pigeon. So I'm going to take my right leg, lift my foot, and then cross my foot either over my left thigh or lower um, across my shin. And so depending on your body and what feels most appropriate, you might cross over your shin or even just cross at the ankle or bring the foot up over the thigh. And if that's comfortable, maybe you gently press your knee away. Now, I have some things going on in my SI joint on the right side, so I'm actually going to stay lower. That feels better for me. And it might feel really good, it might feel really intense here to just stay and breathe. But if you're like, hmm, I'm not feeling a lot, if your hips are pretty flexible, you could fold forward and notice how that feels in your body. But if anything starts to feel too intense, ease up, come out of the pose, take a break. Hips can be really tight. We hold a lot in our hips, both physically and emotionally. So just being gentle with yourself. Take a couple more breaths wherever you are. And then slowly coming up if you're folded, uncrossing the leg, maybe shaking it out for a moment. And then just notice, sitting with both legs flat and just notice the difference between sides. So sometimes, you know, we don't take that time to notice, oh, Wait, this is what it feels like, right? When you're just working on, with one thing on one leg. So now um, taking your other side, your left ankle maybe across your thigh, your shin, your ankle, maybe gently opening the knee. You could stay here sitting tall, you could fold forward.
Take two more deep breaths wherever you are. And when you feel ready, slowly easing up, uncrossing your legs slowly, shaking it out, placing your foot back down. And then we'll just take a seated twist in each direction. So let's inhale our arms up, exhale our right arm behind us, left hand to the right knee, gaze over your right shoulder. But if that doesn't feel good on your neck, maybe you just gaze to the side. And then with your next inhale, come back through center. And exhale over to the left, finding a place in the back of your chair for your left hand, maybe gazing over your shoulder or to the side. And then slowly when you're ready, coming back up, lifting your arms. Exhale your hands down through heart center. Take a moment to repeat your intention. And then release your hands into your lap. Again, maybe palms up or down. Maybe you close your eyes for a few moments or keep them open. Take a few moments to come back to your breath. Come back to your intention. And if your intention is long, maybe simplifying it to a word or a short phrase. And we're going to use that as the object of this short meditation here at the end. So just repeating your mantra. This now becomes your own personal mantra to yourself. One way you could do this is, like, let's say your intention was about feeling calm. You could inhale and say to yourself, I am and exhale, calm. And continuing to repeat that along with your breath. Inhaling, thinking I am, exhale, calm. Or whatever that might be for you. Taking two more breaths, repeating your intention, your own personal mantra. And then when you're ready, releasing the repeating of your mantra. Imagine that mantra, that intention going out into the rest of your day. Bring your hands back to heart center. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. So namaste, if you haven't done yoga before, is a phrase word that we say at the end of yoga that translates roughly as the light within me bows to and honors the light within you. So that's it. And I did go, of course, I went the whole time. <laughs> did it leave a lot of time for questions? But and I know some people have left. Let me adjust my screen. Um, thank you all so much. Please let me know if you do have any questions. Um, if there's anything else that you want to see in future sessions, I know, um, Kristen, what is the date? Do you know, Josh, that Kristen is doing the next one? There'll be emails that will go out about it too. But. Not positive yet. I, I know we were okay. looking at that first or second. Oh yeah, September. it's gonna be in the beginning of um, September. And um, if anyone is interested in more of what I'm doing, my website is mindfuldetroit.com and I put it in the chat. And then in October, um, 
I know Randy Kruger, is that her last, do I have that right? From um, Student Disability Services is going to be leading a series, um, a meditation series called Kuru Mindfulness for um, staff. So there'll be more info about that. But if you're interested in kind of trying to cultivate a meditation habit on a regular basis, that'll be a great place to do that. Oh, great. Thanks, everyone, for the comments in the chat. I appreciate it. Um, and I think that's it, unless anyone has any questions. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks, Josh. Have a great day. And um, yeah, hope to see you all again at a future session. Bye. Thank you, Caitlin.